Hi, I'm Raf, and in this video we'll be solving the Set Flags quest from level 2. In this quest, you're going to have to create an asset that requires authorization to hold. You're going to give some of that asset to the quest account, and then you're going to revoke authorization to the quest account. The flow is as follows. We're going to go into the quest account, and then we're going to trust the future issuer's asset. And then from the issuer's account, we're going to make it so that um, assets that are issued by that account require authorization to hold and that authorization can be revoked. We can stop someone from using that token. We're going to give the Quest account authorization to hold the asset. We're going to send the Quest account some of that token. And then finally afterwards at the end, we're going to remove authorization for the Quest account to hold. All right, so let's jump into it. First thing, still our lab, find our key pair. Let's copy our public key and let's copy our secret key. Let's head over to the star lab and let's go generate a new key pair and a new secret key. Oh, sorry, let's go fund this account. There you go. Let's go grab the secret key and we'll document that too. The second wallet here is going to be the one setting the flags and issuing the asset. Let's go and build the transaction. So the first step here is going to be to trust the, futures, the future issuer's asset from the quest account. So I'm grabbing the quest account, grabbing my next sequence number, and I'm changing my trust. I'm going to trust an asset that hasn't been created yet, but will from this issuer. and I'm going to sign and submit that to the network. I need my secret key from my Quest wallet. And submit it to the network. So now I'm going to trust an asset that's gonna be created from that issuer. All right, let's go build the transaction. Let's go clear the contents here. Now, from our second wallet, let's go grab our sequence number and let's go and put some options in there. What we're gonna need is we're gonna say that um, we're gonna issue assets and then those ashes from this account need authorization to hold. So I'm gonna click authorization required. And I also make it, I'm also gonna make it so that these assets can be revocable. Okay, I'm gonna add an operation and then I'm going to go into the um, set trust line flags. The asset that I'm configuring for is RAF, and I'm going to be that issuer. The person that I'm um, changing that trust for is the Quest Wallet, and I'm going to set it that my Quest Wallet is authorized to hold this asset. And now I'm going to send my Quest Wallet some of those tokens. I am the issuer. Uh, and let's set 5,000 RAF tokens to that account. All right, let's go and submit that. And I need a secret key from my issuer. And let's go and submit that to the network. So now what I can do is if I go and use my public key from my Quest Wallet, I can look it up in Stellar Expert. And you should see 5,000 RAF tokens in the other account in the Quest Wallet. And notice that there's no symbol beside RAF. Okay. Let's head over to the lab. Now we're going to remove that authorization from the Quest account, well, to the Quest account. Our source account is still gonna be the issuer. We're gonna get the next sequence number. And here, we're gonna change the set trust line flags. We're gonna, we're gonna put something else in here. The asset we're configuring for is RAF. 
the issuer is ourselves. The person we're um, configuring this trust is the Quest Wallet. And we are going to say we're removing its authorization. I have some other operations here. I'm just going to remove them. There you go. So all we're doing is we're configuring this trust line for RAF and removing authorization for this account. All right, let's go and sign this transaction. My private key should be the same. And let's go and submit that to the network. Okay, let's go back into Stellar Expert and let's go refresh this page. You'll now know that beside the RAF token, there is a lock. And that means that RAF, uh, this account is not authorized to hold RAF. Although the account has a trust line there, can't do anything with this token. And let's go into the Stellar Quest and let's go verify it. And success. I hope this helped.